Hello everyone, this is Jamaican Energy 8 the black kid with the power of chaos. So, uh, I have the sudden tendency to do another rant video. Now, have you ever heard of the site called DeviantArt? You know, the place where you can post your art, make stories, or, you know, just uh, chat to people in general, all around the world. Uh, but just mainly for posting art and stuff. It's one of those social media websites where you can go on, like I said before, post post sprite sheets, make art, make videos, and, you know, do whatever you want on here. However, I, I, along with everybody else in DeviantArt, has had a long, long annoyance with one of the most annoying people in the world. Who is it? Princess Elizabeth? Princess Elizabeth? Nah. Somebody else? Like, who screams a lot? Close. Nate Spagewood? Bingo. B-I-N-G-O. 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 And Bingo was his name. Oh, exactly. Spagewood. Nate Spagewood. Oh! Why uh, is he back? So, if you don't know who Nate Spagewood is, um, I suggest looking him up. So, because if you want to know everything about him, and well, it's time for me to tell you all a story that happened in about February in February. So, what happened in February, you may ask? On February 10th, February 11th, 2016, I heard about this guy called Nate Spagewood, so I was wondering, who was this guy and why is he death-threatening a lot of people? And, it basically understand that a guy called Jared the Fox 92 I think? had been taking screenshots and has told me he has a long history that even goes beyond DeviantArt himself, itself. Where did this all happen and how did this all happen? Again, look it up on the internet. So, yeah. So, what happens is that he death threatens a lot of people for reading in Cryptopedia and he tells them to remove screenshots, stop telling, stop posting screenshots or making videos about him. So, he often likes to use capital locks in scree and screaming his head off. E.g., and I'm, this is my best Nate Spagewood impression. Stop posting screenshots and bloody 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 blah! Yes, that is my best Nate Spagewood impression. Now, this is where it gets annoying. Spagewood has the tendency to abuse people who are younger than him. I'm surprised he's bullying other people who are younger than him when they act their own age. I'm surprised he's only 20 years old and he's acting like a man-child. So, yeah. In any cases, he beca he gets really annoyed. He's really he was really 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 annoying, and he he often shouted to get his point across to people. And people often ridiculed him or often was upset by his comments, because it proves that no matter what happens, he was still very he would just aim to hurt the person. So what happened was that I made a rant video about him death threatening people online and how you shouldn't death threaten people no matter how important you think you are. So. The point of this was to explain what happened, so, and it feels sort of good to get this off of my chest because I think I've been sort of been really, really under the weather lately due to the fact that I have GCSEs coming up, so, yeah. 
So what happens is that I made a rant video back in February, if you can find it, it was called Death Threats. So what happens what happened is that I made a video about how this guy was death threatening people, how he continuously death threatened people, and at the end I called him out on his bullshit and swore at him, called him a wimp, called him a idiot, called him I well, I called him all sorts of names. And eventually the DVNR admins decided to ban his account. And then, like, when I woke up, I heard that he was banned. So then, like, it felt sort of good to be... To have this guy out of DeviantArt. It was all good. Or so I thought. The next day, which was 11... On the 11th of February, 2015, 2016, I picked up... Uh, I was in my intervention maths class, and what happened was that I was just sitting down, right, doing my work, minding my own business, when my phone literally starts to vibrate so much. It started vibrating, it went and you know what I see? I see sh a shit ton of notes from the one and only man-child, Nate Spadewood. I literally just pick up, I literally pick up my phone, my phone's there vibrating, vibrating, with Nate's message saying, Don't die in a pit of fire and cryptopedia fanboy! And I'm like, what? Now, when I saw this, I was completely upset and a bit aggravated at the same time, because as soon as I... <laughs> you know, picked up, uh, you know, as soon as I got onto the computers at break time, all I just hear, all I just see is a shit ton of notes, like 94 notes and counting, saying, you saw that Encryptopedia fan article about me, remove that damn video or else I'll come to your house and kill you in a murderous rage. So technically, Spade would have the tendency to argue about this and he technically decided to shout at me yell at me telling me to take down my video which he has no right to do so throughout the course of the two days he used he attempted to use the so many notes to spam me away from my schoolwork and he even tries to bully me in the private apology since made public this clueless man this clueless stupid man who has no idea how much work we artists put into our daily lives and sometimes out of our daily lives we have to do things to keep ourselves up and running so yeah as i'm sure as he is incompetent of his making of comments simply because i just called him out on his bullshit because he decided to just started to spam people with death threats and shit which by the way hurts a, a 15 year old girl who is the same age as me around the world Spadewood's childish behavior aside, this actually proves how much of how childish, immature, and stupid he is when it comes to making death threats. And it just sort of made me upset when I was in English for my last lesson. I was so upset because Spadewood started to spam me with death threats. And it was incredibly annoying because... I couldn't really focus on my schoolwork. Now, whenever I see like messages that really make me feel uncomfortable, I sort of tend to shut down from the from doing something. Or in any cases, um I, you know, answer the door. I, you know, sorry, I just like write down my feelings. on paper in a way that somebody could you know right like help me in this sort of way in any cases i do have a screenshots of his um of his accounts which is nate is pissed nate is ultra pissed and nate is real pissed this guy can't even come up with very basic usernames 
What kind of name is Nate is super pissed, is real pissed. I'm just, I am just really, really, really annoyed by now, because technically, Spadeword being a childish, being childish and immature as he is, it sort of announces how silly and stupid he is and how he's depriving me of my schoolwork. Like, ever since he came back on the May, in the May, which was the day that my exams start, he has, he, his stupidity has been driving me away from my exams. And trust me, it makes me just want to just face palm so hard that the whole world will crumble apart and then wants me to rip my own face off. It just won't stop. Spadewood. Just... Stop. Just stop being annoying. Just shut up. Just shut up. So what if people are making fun of you? So what? I've had people make fun of me. I got angry just like you. But instead, unlike you, I learned how to grow up and ignore it. So why can't you ignore simple bullshit annoyances? Technically, you're the one who starts everything. You start it by screaming at them. You start by death threatening them. And you even start by... Like, randomly punching, randomly claiming to hurt the person, even to the point of trying to kill them. That's not right. You need to get some help, Nate. Go to a psychiatrist. Get help. What is the point of not getting help? What is the point of, doesn't the word psychiatrist not process through your thick head? I swear. I swear, I'm dealing with some kind of idiot. This guy claims to be 20 years old and he's acting like a spoiled brat. And I know a tw someone who's in their 20s, and that's Ronin Hunt. Yeah, sure, he's a brat. Uh, yeah, sure, he's random and silly at times, but at least he can act his own age when, when accounted for. So, yeah. Just why? You know, sometimes I I just can't understand people today. I mean, I do understand people, but I just can't understand how some people can be, just be so rude, just so stupid, and just so plain ignorant. So, yeah. You know what? I need a bit. I need a drink of 7-Up. I don't drink alcohol. I drink 7-Up. I'm a, still a teenager. Ugh. Ugh. Oh well. You know, if he just responds to my rant video telling me to remove it, I'm just, just gonna go, just talk to the hand, Nate. Just talk to the hand. Because I can't be bothered to deal with someone who cannot apologize for their stupid behavior. <sighs> Anyways, so yeah. This is Jamaica Tai 8 signing out. Hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. And yeah, sorry that you see me so upset today. It's because Spadewood. I feel like I'm on the edge of crying right now. I'm on the edge of being Annoyed because I've already got GCSEs to worry about to him adding to more of the stress is just making it worse So yeah see if you see Nate Spadewood acting up or Being a dick in any sort of way just block him just or in any case if you are brave enough ridicule him to the point where you want to Want him to get banned save screenshots of him death threatening situate of his death threats and send it to the DA admins because we could really use because we could really need him to get banned please I don't want to fail my GCSEs just because of him anyway so 
Like I said before, this is Jamaican NG08, signing out. Peace!